What is going on, people? I want to talk about Anthony Joshua and how Anthony Joshua is a throwback fighter. For years, he's always been the one who gets all of the blame for not fighting the other top guys. And it's like, I don't think that's fair. I think he's a throwback fighter. I think he deserves the credit that he does not get. He deserves more credit. People always bring up how he didn't fight Deontay Wilder. They offered Deontay Wilder a $100 million deal with the zone. He turned it down. They talk about how he didn't fight Tyson Fury. They offered a fight with Fury in 2018. He turned it down. He was supposed to fight Tyson Fury. But Fury had the court case and Wilder ended up fighting Fury for the third time. Good thing he did because that was one of the best heavyweight fights of all time. He was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder after this. Had Deontay Wilder defeated Joseph Parker, they would have announced in the ring, okay, next in March, Wilder and Joshua. So Joshua's done his part. It just hasn't worked out. You look at his career. This guy started boxing in 2013. Professionally, I'm talking about. Guy already fought for a, a belt in 2016. He won his world title in fewer fights than Wilder or Fury. He won it by his 18th, I think, 18th fight. Fury, I think, was by his 26th, and Wilder was by his 30th. They were brought along slowly, especially Wilder. He then goes on and defends it. After beating Charles Martin, he fights Dominic Brazil, who was at the time ranked close to the top 10, I think, maybe even in the top 10, beats him. Was supposed to fight Klitschko in 2016, but Klitschko had an injury. And Klitschko was supposed to fight Fury, but Fury didn't do the whole rematch. He was out of the sport for a little bit. So Klitschko has his injury, and he fights instead. Joshua fights Eric Molina. He's more like a you know, top 20-ish guy, a guy that Wilder fought as well in his first title defense. Beats him. Then he fights Klitschko, who at the time was at worst the third best heavyweight because it was Wilder, Joshua, and Klitschko. Old legend. Beats him in one of the best fights in the history of heavyweight boxing. Then he fights Carlos Takam, mandatory. Good, solid pro. Then he fights Joseph Parker for the other belt, the, IB, uh, the WBO belt. It's like another top three guy who he beat. At that time, it was Joshua, Wilder, and Parker. However you wanted to rank the three, those are the top three. Then in 2018, he fights, at the end of the year, Alexander Povetkin. I think he was ranked fifth or sixth. Very good heavyweight still, even at that point. Knocks him out. Then he fights Anthony, Andy Ruiz. He was supposed to fight Jarrell Miller. They were, did that fight because Jarrell Miller was from New York. He was in New York. He was going to come to the USA. Jarrell Miller fails a bunch of drug tests. Joseph Parker. I mean, I'm not Joseph Parker. Andy Ruiz steps in, the guy who lost to Joseph Parker for the world title. And obviously Ruiz knocks out Joshua, you know, shakes it all, you know, the whole everyone up, shakes the whole world up with that win. Goes on Jimmy Kimmel afterwards. Credit to Ruiz. He then does the rematch with Ruiz, beats Ruiz in Saudi Arabia. Then he goes in 2020, fights a mandatory versus Pulev. Then he fights Usyk twice. I mean, like, he lost to Usyk twice. Yeah, okay, Usyk was a better man. But this guy always fights good people, like, constantly. And then even this year, he fought Jermaine Franklin. That's, like, a pretty good, like, get-back fight. A guy who arguably beat White. Supposed to fight Dylan White, but Dylan White fails a drug test, so he has to fight Hellenius, who he knocks out Hellenius, a guy who Wilder just knocked out. And Hellenius really failed the test for that fight also. <laughs> but they found out about that afterwards. And now he fights Ottawa Lynn, who just had a nice win versus Gassiev. This guy has a good resume. And uh, I, I think you got to give him credit. He's always fighting top people. The two heavyweights that constantly fight top opposition time and time again. Really three, you could say. Joseph Parker, Anthony Joshua, and Alexander Usyk. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.